Hey, what's up guys? Antonio here with another Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose your spotlight. Uh, if you have no power onto it, uh, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Uh, I, already, I know what the problem is on this one, so I'd just rather show you guys. And, you know, if I could teach you guys something, um, be great. That's, you know, that's what I'm all about. So um, here we go. So my, my driver's spotlight is, spotlight is working, my, my passenger's is not. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, obviously you have to click in the switches, the switch on the actual spotlight handle, and if you have no power, you know, um, first thing you want to do is remove the actual spotlight. Okay, removing the spotlight, you will require an Allen key. Don't know the exact size, might be a 332 or a 564, one of those two, but just get, you know, wing it with a, uh, try to find the, the right one that fits the actual screw, right? And so this will be on, on the lower side of the actual spotlight, right over here, okay? This will be on the actual cover. Unscrew it counterclockwise, twist the actual cover counterclockwise and you should be able to pull it once you pull it it's going to expose this okay make sure your ignition switch is completely off and there is nothing going no power going into here okay uh, just take the extra extra safety precautions okay so this car here had no light bulb so this whole wire here the white to the red was completely missing so obviously we have some extra parts so we went ahead and do so so the way you the way you uh you mount this it's actually very easy so let me go ahead and show you hang on okay so what you do is so this is your power right this is your power source for your your spotlight and then here you have these two little clips so you bring them you push down and then you slide and that will release your light bulb okay so to put it on you there's two little things here metal pieces there so you got to make sure that this part here is sitting flush right that it's sitting flush and then you grab the cable okay grab the cable and you bring in in and in and that secures your your light bulb get the cable do not let it touch anything else mount it to the part of the actual uh, I guess the power here there's a little uh, bolt mounted in there okay so turn we now we we went ahead and turned it on we flicked it on and off we still had no power the next thing I did was the following okay so what I did next was I grabbed my volt reader okay on and I went ahead and put it on 20 volts I went ahead and touched the, I, I grounded on one of the sides, the black, I, okay? I grounded it to any metal part of the actual part. That's a good, that's a good ground. And what was happening is that once I was, you know, I turned, I turned the, uh, the car, I put it onto the, uh, the on position, did not start the car. And I did it two ways. I, I, I did it, I did it with the way, the way that the actual light switch is on right now to ensure that there was I wasn't it wasn't not on the off position so I was getting a voltage I hit the switch again and I tested it again I tested the, the, the you know I pointed it to the, the wire here 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 and I was getting zero voltage okay so I knew that I had a power issue right so let me walk you around now so here let me put this back Okay. All right, for now. So let's take you to the area where the most common issue on this car is. Okay. Right here, guys. This is where your most common issue on this vehicle is. So obviously, you do have a uh, a trim piece here. Okay. It's one, two little clips, okay? So you pull, pull, and you should be able to pull up. It's jiggle it a little bit, but it will come out, okay? Don't worry about 
you know this the hole here on the actual trim piece just move, move around this and you should be able to pull it out no problem but here is the the issue so the spotlight here is connected to this wire here okay this white wire this wire is supposed to be connected to a module okay there is no modules on this car right so the uh, so what you want to do is just connect that because see there's evidence that this wire does not belong here because there's a zip tire here okay but spotlights get connected directly from this bad boy oops this bad boy right here which what they do is this this because this is a factory add-on as i'm aware of okay just unclip it from here and clip it okay connect it here try to do it with one hand okay should be enough for now but now put your car into in the on position turn the key to the on position okay and let's flick your spotlight there you go there you go so now we have power okay so this cable here just remove it out of the zip tie go ahead and put it in another zip tie together and push it down but this is your spotlight wire that's right here it's just an orange wire connect the orange wire to the spotlight okay and you should be gold okay and then um, obviously you remount your your piece, your plastic trim piece here and uh, on the opposite side on the uh, on the actual spotlight mount mount the actual um, spotlight as, as best as you can okay and then mount the actual cover okay mount the cover and voila you should be all set and it's the same process for your opposite side okay um i know there's a there's a if if, if you have no power here whatsoever okay uh also check voltage check this wire with, with the volt reader check the hot wire um and uh, but if you have power here then there i know there is a uh, uh a fuse in the engine compartment that i don't I remember i don't know which one it is but in case that issue comes where you have no power here okay so there you guys uh i hope this video uh, was able to help you out, help you diagnose and fix your spotlight issue um if you found the video helpful please consider subscribing and hitting the like button thanks for watching uh, have a blessed day thank you